Hello Floppies, I am Leanne Morgana Stitchy Moon 75 and today is the 5th of June. I am in a new location for today because I have neighbours making noises, I have dogs barking, so I'm in a different part of my house. Oh, the upside is you do get to see, and I didn't realise, my season tree. So I've got it done up for winter at the moment. Um, but sorry, I digress. Um, I am doing um, maybe a wrap up. I did a monogamous mania this year. Uh, yeah, well, this year it's my my first mania. Um, so I did do a monogamous one. Um, I saw a couple of months ago. I met uh, Nicole from Devana Lee Design Studio, and she was working on and is still she's still doing this on a weekly program that she has uh stitch with me um on her channel so divine divana lee design studio she's on floss tube and she's a multi-craft channel and on a monday she does this as a her stitch with me and i just love it so i decided mania i was going to participate and May is my birthday, so I decided I'm going to make it about me and um, made the whole month my birthday month doing this. It has witches, it has moon, it has happy Halloween. Perfect birthday gift to myself. So I started a, um, I started doing that and I did a sale, um, hashtag Morgana moon. No, 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 sorry. Ha uh, Hashtag Morgana's birthday sale um, on Instagram. So you're welcome if you're if you want to do moons, witches, Halloween, anything in that sort of kind of thing. Um, you're welcome to join us. There's no end date. Um, just join us. So um, when I say us, there's Gail Phillips, um, who is Ms. Stitch. O one, excuse me, on um, Instagram. There's Karis who is Chicken Stitch. Both Karis and Gail have Floss Tube channels. Um, and Chicken Stitch is Karis's, and she's Chicken Stitch on Instagram. Um, not just hooked, crafted by Juliet, Aussie Maria with a number one or the number one. I mean, um, she is on. Instagram and Nicole Reed uh, at Devana Lee Design Studios. Um, she has her floss tube, but it's a multi-craft channel as well. So definitely worth checking those ladies out. Their work is just awesome. Um, I will pop them down below when we're done. Um, so I'm going straight into my progress, what I've done. I originally had planned to do the Halloween Quaker on different fabric. And it wasn't until I started it that I realized it wasn't going to fit. And I thought, oh, well, if I tweak it, I might still be able to get it to fit. But in order to do that, I would actually have to drop off some motifs. And I just sort of figured, what's the point of doing that? Because it's not what I wanted to do. I want the whole Quaker. So I got called to, um, Paul or messaged Pauline at um, Crafty Laney. And she hooked me up with some new fabric called Googles. No, it's not. <laughs> it's called Goggles. And they're the details. Um, so 20 count even, 28 count even weave. And this color in this light is actually pretty close. It's pretty much it. So I really loved the color. Um, and so I figured I'd do that. But how cool is this? Anyone else see a dragon in there? Um, anyway, that's, sorry, beside the point. I did this. So I swapped, I used the call for DMC except for the moon. I decided I'd swap out the moon for, um, some treat, no, petite treasure braid. Cover your ears if you don't like swear words, but oh my God, what a shit to sew with. I will never again, oh, it was terrible. It was so awful. 
Um, and I was going to say I'll never do it again, but let's face it, it's sparkly and I probably will. According to Gail and Nicole, my problem was I had two longer um, threads. So that's what I used. Um, and it, I think it looks really good with the moon. I think if I'd used a darker fabric, it might have been better because it would pop more. But um, never mind. I'm still, I still love what I've done. Um, my bra my floss strands were too long. I do stitch with long, like long th threads. So I think if I'd had, or their advice was, I need smaller threads to stitch with, and I wouldn't have had. Um, I don't think I would have had as half the trouble. It was a pain. <laughs> um, and I had decided before I started, whatever was in that, um, the call for original color, which was, I don't have it with me. Um, it was classic, classic color works version was bamboo. So I was going to swap that out for all and make it all silver. And that was a great idea. Loved the idea until I realized, see this, that's a spider. I don't do well with spiders in any shape or form like and that's why there's currently only one because I have to do four of them and they're supposed to have the same color eyes and I was like I'm not doing four ugly spiders with sparkly eyes that are going to look at me every single time I put this up each Halloween no they can just have the plain boring eyes I was very tempted to just make them all black and so they have no eyes so they can't look at me um, I'm yet to rule that idea out, can I just say, because, ew, spiders, no, just, ew. So, I ended up using this, the silver for the moon, and I really love it. I think it turned out really quite well. I'm not as far as I would have liked to have been, but as I said, I had to restart. So, um, to be fair, considering I had to restart, I think I did okay with where I got um, and I'm swapping out the ghost with uh, glow in the dark. So this one I'll use. I'm assuming this will be as annoying as the petite braid was, but at least now I know to have a smaller strand than what I was using. Um, because I think, yeah, uh, having that will be less knots, less fraying, less wearing much better outcome <laughs> so I that was what I did for the entire month of May I didn't really work on anything else other than that um, now since May has ended I have been working on um, my son's in the TARDIS so my son has um, Oh, I had a question. Actually, no, I'll come. I'll do that at the end. So, my son for Christmas chose um, a cross stitch of some wolves. Now, if you've been following me, you'd know I did a wolf um, at the beginning of the year, last year, for my aunt for Christmas. And my son thought the wolf was for him, and he was quite devastated to discover he wasn't getting it. So, I said for Christmas, choose one you like. Um, so, he chose this. Um, it's a dimensions kit in harmony it's called and it's on 14 count ada um, i was a bit freaked out at first when i started because it's on a navy blue ada um, and i was like oh, i'm not going to be able to see this but as so long as i stitch through the day or with good light it's not too bad a problem so i've just been working on this section um, the last few days. Um, I want to get it done by the 21st of June. So in Australia, that will be um, the winter solstice Yule for us. So, um, or the weekend of. Um, so I want to have it done by then. Um, and yes, Deborah, because Deborah will, what, sorry, Deborah Watkins asked um, if I give the kids presents then um yes I do we just I tend to try and keep them related to winter or pagan um that sort of style and I give them each each year so 
but I will come back to that. So for those of you that don't wanna hear about um, me answering Deborah's questions, um, that's okay. I will do that at the end so that you can, um, you can turn off then and you don't have to worry about it. So that's completely fine. Um, so that's on 14 count Ada and I'm actually really enjoying doing that. I don't know if I'm enjoying it because I know it's for my son or I'm just enjoying it because um, it's, it's a moon, <laughs> which is actually probably more the case um, because I do, I do love all things moon. Um, and the other one that I was working on yesterday has been, um, Blake Docker. I'm determined not to let it get the better of me. So it's, um, on 14 count Ada, coffee dyed by myself. Um, which I was really happy with how it's come out. I've got heaps left over, so, which I'm really happy about. Um, I wish I had, before I did this, I wish I had known how to work with variegated thread better because I don't think I've done as good a job with the variegation as I could have. Um, yeah, but it's, it's a learning piece in more ways than one. If you've watched the, um, my previous, uh, episodes, you would know, <laughs> but I, so Halloween Quaker is now going into my rotation. So this, for the remainder of the year, I'll have the Halloween Quaker, the Wolf, my daughter who um, is due for her baby in September. I'm doing a Christmas stocking for her little girl. So that will also go in the rotation and the Plague Doctor. So they're my four that I really want to get finished as quickly as I can because come October, I'm joining um, Gail. Uh, she's doing a sale for Carriage House Samplings Halloween at Hawk Run Hollow. So um, I'm going to join her and I believe Nicole from uh, Devana Lee Design Studio is also going to do it. So I just, I absolutely love this. I just think the colors in it are great. Um, I won't, I haven't chosen my fabric as yet, but I've sort of pulled, and this is, this. well, we're doing, we're doing haul now. <laughs> so these are the colors um, or some of the colors um, for it. I'm yet to get the rest of, of them. So I've sort of between pulling from my stash and um, just each time I was going to spotlight, I was grabbing a couple. Um, so, um, that's, that's them. I think it's a really nice color palette, which I think is part of my attraction to it. Um, sorry about Missy. She's, where is she? Oh, she's not going to show us her face. She's my helper today. <laughs> Sorry, I hope that didn't make you feel sick. But um, she's, I don't know, it's not like her. Normally she hates everybody. And today she's super cuddly. So I'm going to roll with it. And she's she's my itty bitty kitty. So we love her. Um, so that will be my October project. And I think Nicole might even be starting... Um, Lila Studios Holiday Quaker for Christmas. So I'm not sure. So if she does do that, I'm going to, um, I will join her in that. Um, just because I'm really enjoying doing the, the Quaker pieces. So, but the rest of my haul I got from um, Voodoo Rabbit in Annalee, Queensland, I think they are. They're in Brisbane anyway. Um, they've only got a PO box address on this, I think. Um, and the cat ate the rest of the, I don't know what she was doing, but for whatever reason she tore it. So I had, I got all these fabrics, which I just love. Um, the plan was for fabric bags, but this piece here I think is gonna be too big. If I cut it up into a, um, not fabric bag, sorry, uh, project bag. I'm going to actually miss most of the design. So I'm going to slide it across. 
So it's all sort of like, you know, pin up ladies. So I'll just slowly go over. I hope you can see them. Um, so I just, I think they're great. So I'm not quite sure what I'm going to end up doing with that. Possibly I might, I could probably make a, a bag with them to carry my cross stitches when I go places, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. But it's, it's too big, I think, to make um, a project bag. I think I'll lose the fun of all of them. Um, so I'm making a Halloween quilt as well. So maybe I might... No, see, again, they're probably too big. Anyway, I will find something to do with them. Um, so I got this one, which I love. And it's sort of like a smoky kind of mushroomy purple um, with the bats. I don't know. So I really love that. And that'll be a great. Um, and there, sorry, their fabrics. Um, let me get the name of it. Uh, oh, it just says Art Gallery Fabrics. I don't know. Um, I just tend to buy what I like, not by designers. Then this one I want to do a project bag for my Halloween Quaker. Um, and this is by Timeless Treasures Fabrics. Um, also, from I did purchase it from Voodoo Rabbit. So I think it's been shown quite a bit at the moment around Facebook and um, FlossTube, I think. So I love it. I absolutely love it. So this will be perfect for my Halloween Quaker one. Um, but you know what I love is <laughs> the cat's eyes. They're quite judgy. Like, not judgy. They see everything. So um, I, yeah, absolutely Love that. That's my favourite. Um, so I will, yeah, do a do a bag in, in that, I think. Um, I also, I was lying in bed the other night just having a look, you know. Um, and I, I should do playing on your phone. Excuse me one second. Mm. My mug too, by the way, is part of my dinner set. It's a Jack and Sally Misfit Love. And Jack and Sally. Absolutely love Jack and Sally. Um, and Nightmare Before Christmas, they're from. Um, Night Spirit Studio had some free patterns up. This was one of them. Um, it was actually done, I think it was done through the whole, uh, like when there was the Be Well ones. Um, this is to support trans, um, which yeah trans witchcraft I'm not doing it in the trans colors I like the design um, and I'm actually going to do this for um, myself as an altar piece so I'm actually going to use the elements colors of the elements for that I think it's really cute um, not that I don't support what it's originally for um, and this will be for myself anyway um, but I just yeah I'm doing up the colors a little bit differently I also so when I was playing around I saw that one and I ended up somehow on eBay which is always dangerous at 1am and in the morning um, and I saw this and I was like oh another Santa piece because I collect Santas um, I don't have any cross I have a few cross stitch pant patterns for Santas but I haven't done any up um, so I got this one and it wasn't until it came that I realized it's a Joan Elliott. I don't know if I can do a Joan Elliott. It, I don't know. We will see. Um, I think the whole beading, all of that might be a bit beyond my skill. I don't know. Um, yeah, I don't know. We will see. I will see. But I love that anyway, so... Um, I may just do it without the, the whole beading thing. Um, I, yeah, I don't know. But I got it for $10 on eBay, and I thought that was a really good price. Um, and then it was just the cost of a letter postage. So um, all up, I think I was still in front anyway. 
so it's it's a cute one to have that wraps up my flossy today um so if you liked it please hit like and subscribe if you um, haven't already and um, I'm going to now answer Deborah's questions surrounding Yule and um, the Southern Hemisphere. Um, just really briefly, I, yes, we do Halloween in, in the Southern Hemisphere. We're lucky that we can do them at both. So for us in April, it would be traditionally Halloween. Um, I, it's known as Samhain. Um, or Samhain, depending on how you, or where you come from. Um, I celebrate that as a strictly religious time for us, um, where we honor our ancestors and um, think about, because Samhain actually means summer's end. So it's the end of summer, getting ready for winter. It's the last harvest before winter comes. Um, so, we we celebrate that um in october is halloween we also celebrate that we celebrate that with fun the frivolity of you know dressing up and doing all of that um i don't do that in april because i see that as an, a a time of respect um for my ancestors who have crossed over um in june at on 21st of June is also the winter solstice. Um, we do Yule and Christmas in December. So Yule for us is, I say us, my family, um, we are pagan and I follow the wheel of the year. Um, I'm kind of, I, yeah. So come June, uh, we celebrate winter um, and we celebrate family and just an opportunity to just have some time together. And I do, I have an altar, um, and by that I mean, um, so just here beside me, sorry, you can see just there, that's, no, wait, there, that is my Samhain altar that we had up for April and I will actually leave that um, up now until Yule. So um, that will come down now and in the next couple of days and we will, sorry, I'm just about to slip um, and we will do uh, get ready for the coming of winter. Um, yeah. So if you have any more questions, Deborah, you're more than welcome to to ask me. I hope I've just done a quick, um, I, it's a very brief explanation of them. Yes, we give presents, or I give presents to my kids. Um, generally, they're pagan related um, or winter related, uh, handmade. Um, I tend not to try and go by, um, unless they've specifically said, you know, they want something. Where we're renting at the moment, we can't have candles. Um, I can't have them burning. So I think it's, you know, the black on the roof, probably a fire hazard too, I guess. Um, so yeah, we, we haven't done that. Um, but as I said, for us in April, when we do Samhain, um, it's about honor and respect. And yeah, I hope that covers it. As to your next question about the book series that I was talking about, that's this one, um, David Edding's uh, The Belgariad. So uh, there's five books to this, but there are other books that come off it. So Polgara has her own own story, uh, Belgareth, I can't remember the others, but there are other series as well that he's done. Um, the Malorian is one of them. I can't think of what the other is, but uh, yeah, so it is It is a good book and I love Polgara in this. Um, definitely worth a read. And um, this is the new cover. My We've got a mix of the covers, the old, because my husband read, read them as a boy or a teenager. Um, definitely a good read. So that I think covers, um, covers it today and I hope... Um, 
I, yeah, I think I've done everything. Hope to see you again. Um, if you're new to my channel, thank you for watching. Um, and I hope you like what you saw. So if you did, please hit like and subscribe if you want to come back again. To my regular su subscribers, um, thank you. It's always lovely to, you know, hear and, com you know, have questions and comments and what have you. I really appreciate it. Um, and um, I thank you to Stitchy Witch 42 uh, for your beautiful words. I really appreciate it. It was really lovely. Um, and I will see you all next time. Take care. Happy stitching. Bye.